no t they have no way to kill towers either. You got the serpent wars. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Actually, sorry. Yeah. No, sorry. Oh man, life so could be appealing. I guess it's the that'd be the best one that fits. If they play Meepo, if they play Meepo, it'd be quite a good Meepo game. But I don't know if these Ten guys play Meepo. Remaining. You guys play Meepo games? Yeah, you just kill them. It's, it's just a little annoying. Five seconds remaining. It's the live yeah. I mean, the live yeah, was, it seemed it. like the obvious one. It, it's not necessarily a pick that's like, damn, they've got it, they've wrapped, but it, it, it's like, it was the best pick, really. Yep. Like. But uh, not to say a secret. I'm going to be too worried about that lifestealer pick. So now it's mid conco and it's off lane timber saw with what, like a tri lane. And so you're saying you really have to make sure that this timber doesn't end up landing against the, just the bat rider. Maybe you just You've put bat rider top. <laughs> maybe you just put bat rider safe lane. I mean, but then sure, surely Keen are going to try and dodge it. I they, think we're, yeah, we're going to see it. some lane dodging coming yeah. out here. This doesn't look like a good timber saw game, though. Lifestealer looks okay, but not. not it either. This is a bit tough here for Keen already, but it's just because I see Oracle and I see Alchemist winning like majority of these games. And I that's the thing. It's just the opening from Seeker is so strong. Keen may struggle to deal with it. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe if they can get these uh, ideal lane matchups, maybe get the, get the timber against the out lane, get the last two against the bat lane. Maybe they can make it work with the trees. Maybe with the trees, with the whirling death, enough pure damage to just chunk down the elk. Perhaps, maybe. This is one of the old solutions, right? People have been trying to find, because we said Timbersaw and Bloodseeker were like the big two at last year's TI when Alchemist was getting picked. Now teams are looking for other solutions to deal with this hero. What's in the mid lane? Mid one versus Dara versus Yee's Kunker. Should be what? How, how does that sort of matchup go? I've seen it. We don't know. Sure. Should and be pretty even, right? It's, it's like the yeah. Kunker sunlight should be forced out of the lane. You both kind of pressure each other because you're constantly spamming on each other. You can't actually break the flame guard very nicely, so you're just going to get the lane pushed into you a bunch of times too, but you're also going to cleave back with your thing, so. So we're old 11 there, having some hefty stats on his timber. What about... Be but like a 75% win rate, man. Five wins in a row Prepare on the timber. I mean, it's really going to be super reliant on... I, every time I watch Keen, it's really like... Old, if old 11 and Kaka are not having good games, they're, they're a really big, really big problems. So... Big eyes on old eleven. Of course, in this game when he's he's it's Timber Saw versus Alk. It looks like they're just doing standard lanes for the time being. As the Alchemist is walking toward bottom with Yapsor and Tiny, who has boots, also picked up and toss instantly skilled up. So Yapsor already finds it immediately. He walks in, expects that one to kind of come out. He pinged it before they even, uh, he was like, protect this side, they're gonna try to smoke something, it looked like. He knew, because he was pinging it immediately. Be able to find an opportunity there to get an into kill, but they do get two wards down, so... I think this deep ward is to, to watch die. not only the lane swap, but also when people do just back up and start stacking, and just keep tabs if there are. I'm trying to get them some kill here. Gives him a poke. Just trying to. <laughs> he's just taunting him. Make sure that none of the secret can get him for these. It's banner is down bottom. They're bringing five. Yeah. Keen's bringing five heroes down bottom. The battle begins. Secret will poke. Toss back as well. Slide of fist spam. Keen Gaming will be able to make sure that the, the banter in split is, is even. Just some harass coming out. That's all that Secret was trying to accomplish. They can't actually set up to go for that one there with all those heroes they there. Might but have now. A chance dark. dark. They're going to have to toss back. Uh oh. Dark's looking pretty dead here. And now they're oh, going to give it to going to get it as well? No, Dark's like, nope, yeah. you're not getting it. First the tossback's coming into play. Uh -oh. And they are running that aggro tri lane, so let's see, are they going to be able to make it work with this timber saw? They have to watch out for the tossback plays. That's all Yapster's going to be looking for. You see where they're positioned right here. So Kaka, he knows. Kaka's playing all the way on that right side, away from the left, not to get tossed into towers. But Yapster, now he's switching around. He knows. He wants the Shadow Shaman. Uh-oh. There's the roof. It's gonna set up in position for the toss. And there it is. Back and underneath the tower. That'll be a second kill for Secret. Deadly combo. I've seen him do this. I've seen them run these type of tri lanes before with Yapsor playing the Tiny. It's always the tossbacks to protect. You can't even contest like pulls if they start doing those either because you're gonna get tossed back in 11. He's got his six reactive stacks. 
And yeah, yeah, so he is still gonna go for the toss back, but yeah, this is gonna be a kill. Or maybe it will be a kill. Found in the mid lane. Sorry, we missed that at the same time that players we made. Both mids ended up dying to one another. But mid one gets the experience. He did. Able to dive forward for it. And he comes back into the lane and he even buys a chainmail. So that's a little bit interesting here for mid one just to take less harassment coming out from nice. the. It's super nice to I get like the tie bringer to have a chainmail early. Yeah. As bottom, another toss back. The Shadow Shaman Kaka steps up. Still level one on all these heroes bottom at almost a two minute mark. For the blocking them off. And those right clicks hurt for the tiny. Yep. <laughs> Another kill for that safe lane. And Yapsor gets himself the kill too, which is really important as these support tinies to get a couple of the kills early on so you can get your bottle. So you can keep making those moves around. Look for those uh look for those runes, fill up your bottle, keep spamming out the lane. <laughs> a lot of tension, of course, on that bottom lane, because like we said, it's really important for this Timbersaw to have a good time, and right now he's not really able to put the pressure onto the Alchemist so far. Illusion. Top, we see Zai. He's getting, not getting a whole lot up here. A lot of denies coming out for the Lifestealer. Yeah, but he's, but he's having to Yeah, he's having to do it on his own. Yeah, and he's going to be able to always do this. You're playing versus AA. AA cannot stop off laners. No. They're always going to be able to pull waves. But as you say, you know, the bat is not going to be able to stop the Lifestealer. This is going to be free farm for chicken. Yep. But Zai's going to... Yeah, he's going to double stack creep waves, and he's going to get a decent amount. Mid. A little bit of a battle going on. Kaka also moving in. Yaps are keeping tabs. So yeah, this bottom lane, because of those kills, you know, the Timbersaw pick certainly not looking to have any sort of impact on the arc start of the game. It's not slowing him down. The way that he could have been able to set up the lanes. Dyer's top tower is under the attack. mid lane. Kaka trying to get close enough. He doesn't actually have a grab, he only has the uh, shock. Yep, so only has one spell right now. He's got the avalanche. If he gets the avalanche, into the toss back. He can get the toss back. He only has one of them. All right, and the toss back itself, will it be enough? Takes a few tower hits, but mid one. Quite have the, the mana for, for both the spells to go for a kill attempt. He's just following around Kaka, though. And now he's going toward top with the tiny two, so he's going to have the gold for the bottle now. He's going to maybe even just sell the tango and pick it up. Or does he just wait? He's just hey, he's, pa he's, he's patient. A patient gamer. I'm impatient, though. So now he's going to have plays that he can move, and it's going to be timing with that four-minute rune that he can sit on top. Mid one gets forced back to base, though, which is pretty damn nice from Yi. After getting killed in the mid lane first. Oh, you're getting an nice little edge here in the mid CS. Ooh, a haste rune on. Yep, sorry. See where he looks to make a play. As Zai's just kind of running around now. See, they sent Kaka toward top, so now he's a little bit more afraid of actually being there. Maybe he can set up for a kill bottom. Oh, the level's pretty deep. ETP down here, too. His TP's on cooldown. See if they've got the damage to do it. Acid spray. May palm stacking up. Try and jump away. And does have another timber chain up in a second, as well as a full stick. It's a lot of stacks of Napalm. The new damage still bring him low, but there's the backup. Kaka's in with the shackles. And Old Eleven will be kept safe. Secret can't get the kill. And Old Eleven survives. Yeah, he had two stacks of the Purifying Flames healing him as well, too, when they were going for that kill. So he wasn't actually able to get that dispel off in time. I see mid one. As quick as mid one came back to lane. Uh, he's got the bottle. So he got nuked down very, very low there. Kaka's really starting to pull ahead here as the levels build up. Now, we have those bounties coming out. Who's going to be able to get them? Nisha's even running in. Yep, sword two. So it looks like three more secrets. Bit of a fight around the rear spot, though. They've got the disable on Mibbon. Shackles set up into the tower. Mibbon's low. He's dead? He is dead indeed. They have the physical to punch through him. Doesn't matter about the flame guard. Nisha getting a kill here. And Yapsor, he's hasted. He's looking for Yi. And then we'll get Yi by the looks of it. Avalanche toss up. Purifying flames. And it's healing him. It's healing him. And he's got the south. Did help him as well between some of the right clues. He hit the shrine also buffing him back up. They'll toss him over. They're trying their best to punch him down. So, two stick charges. The combo as well onto Yap. So backups now in from Kaka. He, he's he still on the best the to try bring a hit. They can't kill him. He's too, too tough with that double braces. He can walk off. Not even turn around. They didn't just get Yap. So they may even just get both of them. It's puppy. He's running. He kaka with those right clicks. Need one more, won't quite be able to get it. 
Puppy will be able to get away, but Yi surviving. So nice, too. And Yaps are probably regretting that he just goes for the combo instead of tossing him back to his Oracle, because Puppy was low mana, so he only had one Purifying Dyer's Flame. Then Yaps starts Sunday bottling attack. him, but by that point, the Purifying Flame healed the Kunkka enough for him to get to the Shrine. I think if he tossed him back, he wouldn't have made it all the way back to that Shrine in time, and in the, the initial. All the space in the world continues to be there for Old Chicken, who has yeah. the six-minute Midas done and active. All right. Very nice. Bye, Yi. Double bracers. Can't underestimate how tanky Kunkas get. And now they've actually had to move Nisha away from the timber sauce. He's gotten level six, so you don't want to lane versus that timber as an alchemist when he gets that. And Nisha's just jungling. Good one having him. If I, to, he's gonna have to find a way to recover a little bit here. Zai too. Zai tried to make that move bottom. He's zero, one, and zero, and only level four compared to uh, old eleven who's six. We were saying almost seven. Yeah, old eleven gets some free pressure onto this bottom tier one tower. And Puppy and Zai, they they can't really kill him. Three heroes ready to deal with the Tenosaur at this point. And Zai is gonna try and make a go for the help of the third hero coming in. Yeah, sort. To be turning up is still not necessarily easy there with the magical burst Radius they do. Yeah, Yapso, now is the missing piece of the puzzle required to take down 11. Yeah, it's still always Bat Rider is, Bat Rider is terrifying versus the Timber Saw in most of the stages of the game. Go back in mid G, just soaking up the farm. Phase into Shadow Blade, going to be the build this game for the Kunkka. Radiant's top tower is under attack. That Shadow Blade will have that potential to really get active, have that catch from the shadows as he looks to set up onto these heroes such as the Ember Spirit yeah. with the X Mark. Yeah, it looks to just be that ganker, put the pressure on. Nisha will just continue to jungle here. Are they gonna be able to get they Radiant's don't think they're gonna be able to really get any deep boards or attack. look to actually pressure into the into that side as Secret just keeping themselves parked in lanes and pushing them out constantly. Die. <laughs> The man going the fire flat. Yeah. It's too soon. Uh, you're under too much pressure, but just the fact that old chicken. Very farmed. Getting so much. He's opting for the Midas armlet this game. Yep. Just going for a straight right click build versus an alchemist to go for that Deso armlet. Just much better. <laughs> Farming up. Two. He's into the trees. Zai. Look the lasso onto Dark. Gonna try and follow up with the damage from Yapsaw. Zai stays on Dark. Dicky Napalm stacks building up. We'll get the kill. They'll lose Yapsaw for it. Zai. Zai too. He'll get himself more. Chase on to Kaka with that Napalm. He'll get it. It's two down on 11 as well. He's trying to turn a fight back, but mid one is here. On 11 still too tanky to strike upon. No Firefly available yet. They're just keeping the sticky stacks up though. So I actually stops going. And he has come over too. Look at each other farming. Let's have that combo ready to pop. Zai would be the squishier of heroes to kill. In fact, managing to land the torrent. No, he's got the X. He's in the, the trees. Uh oh, Zai. Set up for the angle for that tie. Bring it here. And Yi. Perfect catch there. Torrent in the trees to set up. Very nicely done so far by the Konka in this game. Moving around a lot, putting the pressure on. Yeah, he's a thousand gold behind the net worth of the Alchemist, even more so than that. And now Bounty Runes are coming out. They're trying to make sure they can get themselves a couple here. Old Chicken really trying to get this one here. We'll have to rage and TP out. So we'll be a two for two. Of course, benefit secret. That Alchemist. We're pushing very close to the Relic Nisha. Yep. 12, 13 minute timing pretty much every game that we've seen. Slow down at least a little bit. Dark. I'm gonna try to get invasive here, get those wards down. They can look to go for setup for Nisha. Zai is in the area. This looks like it might be a little bit of a bait here. And they're stepping up pretty far. And TPs are coming through now too. Uh-oh, Keen. It, it's gonna drag back Zai, goes for the boat, does catch Nisha and covers himself in the run. Got that extra damage resistance for now, but Seeker they are gonna have a lot of damage to throw out. Pretty much got the full five man surrounding him. Still able to walk away, but finally Zai locks him down with the lasso. He will be punished. And they just... 
Taka just threw the Serpent Wards there in mid lane too. They just all are there for Seeker. They just cleaned that one up. He barely did any damage to the tower. A little bit overzealous there by Taka trying to go for that ward. But yeah, Nisha now with the Relic done. How's our old chicken armlet going? Almost online. Yeah, we'll see how much she can do. Because uh, as it has been so far, Secret, they haven't really shown any intention of of being worried about the lifesteal. Like, they haven't nope. put any pressure onto him. Obviously, it's hard to do so with their heroes. The lifesteal is very good this game. Yeah. See how much that, that sort of turns Radiant around to bite them back. Now, uh, we'll be taken. They're focusing more on the Kunkka as well as the Timbers, so the heroes that match up really well versus the Alpha. Lifesteal does too if he gets really farmed. But. And they so I'm trying to attempt the kill on the Amber Spirit, but TP's came in. Puppy, Yamsaw turning up for the fight. Yamsaw will be able to walk out of the boat. Boat combo from Dash, from Yi. Old 11, committing forward and catching Sai off guard. A very old 11 type of move, just being very aggressive even on low HP to get that bat. And keep putting pressure on this tier 2 bottom. It's actually really nice here by old 11. Keeping that catapult alive. You know, stacks up for himself as well. He's getting pinged out now, though. It looks like Secret, they do want to set up for him, but they are, they see this. He's going to start backing away, but uh-oh. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. He misses the chain. I'll hit that one, but... He gets tossed. Yeah, toss it there to interrupt it. He's making him work for it. It's pretty hard here with all this regen. But now he's out of mana, and he gets lassoed up. Oh, oh. Make him work it for it even oh. more. He got some mana there. He's got another chain. Oh, there we go. Dead. They'll finally get him. <laughs> Takes a lot of time and effort, but it is a dead offline Timbersaw. And the Radiance is now done for Nisha. About a minute faster than we saw at the last series that we saw the Alchemist played. And he's also taking the attack speed talent over the Incon Uncivil Concoction. I think that actually will. Chicken. Armlet complete. Let's get it sent out to him with that close race. He needs to pick up in lane. One. They drop down immediately the wars. There is going to be the save offered up by the Oracle. He just had to Fates Edict him. He didn't have to ult him. Yeah, Fates Edict's enough. But he can turn kill Kakra. And again, this is another set of wards dropped down. It doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah, Old Levin commits forward for Nisha. Nisha just holds his ground. But there we saw the the reason why Oracle is not only just good versus AA, but also incredibly good versus the Kunkka. You just click, you don't even have to click ult. You just click Fates Edict and it blocks all of that magic damage. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Tower, now just a 1k lead secret. See how much that starts to grow. Obviously with the Alchemist, it can get a lot messier. Yeah. Let's see if Keen can shut it down. They got the armlet done and, and she's saying, oh, she can go in for that armlet Deso to help them tackle yeah. the Alk early on. Yep. Looks like uh, mid one's going for mo magic build. Goes for the uh, Veil, since he has the Bat Rider, as well as the Oracle plus the Tiny, all magic damage. Can actually work very well versus that Timber, so we've been saying. Yeah. Well, 11 to 7, Keen, they've been trying really hard to keep these aggressive wards down. They put act they actually had four wards, two in the top side, two in the bottom side, in the last few moments, just trying to keep that aggression up, but they've done a good job of just protecting their side. Especially that mid tower in particular. They lost their bottom one and their top one, but that mid one. Ah, mid one. Ah, mid mid tower is extremely crucial. With those serpent ones, they haven't been able to take it away. Yeah, they really haven't. Both of them. Like the first one was like right next to everybody. The second one was also right in the middle of everybody. Is under attack. They were trying to set up for a kill with the second one. Midas, it's up. They're hunting though. Trying to find. What are they gonna get here? It's gonna be Zai. Starting to back away. Zai is 50 gold from Blink Dagger. Oh no, he. Oh. Oh, he's so close. And he only lost 90 gold for that death at least. So he didn't lose it for 200. Big, a big chunk of money. And maybe it was surprised. And you know, he forgets the blink quickly after he respawns. <laughs> They're gonna be like, we killed him. Slowed down his blink, but as you said, it's not a massive slowdown. But uh, nonetheless, a, a good kill for King Gaming. Mean, they'll open up the chance to take another tower Radiant's away from Secret. Yeah. Seeing Old Chicken involved in the action. For those bounties, Old Levin. <laughs> not able to get it. Can start to try and play around Nisha, but Nisha having a lot of backup. Mid ones here as well. Bailed down onto Old Levin. Pops the hood Radiant's though, and Timber changed to safety. Spaces there from Tier 1 push as well. King Gaming. 
continuing to sweep up and down the map and take these towers now. This time they'll be able to get it. They're looking to set up for the top kill, it looks like secret. They also probably want to look to try to get this tower here. 11, he's pretty isolated. The TPs are going to start coming out. Very, he's tanky though. They're using the lasso. Ice blocked, it's going to come in. Hit on pretty much four, yeah, four members of secret it connects with. As they can look to just tear apart Yapsor, Yapsor, false promise by Puppy. He's got bottle charges. He's gonna, he should be just fine with the heals. And they're gonna combo. They're looking for the life stealer. They're gonna try and turn a little bit, but finally, Dash. And Yi has turned up, gets the boat combo out, and that's gonna be Nisha dead. Now, old chicken. He can look towards mid one as well. Mid one. He's got a run, he's got a high. Kaka's got the grab with the shackles. Spells from Puppy have already been used. So that isn't the save required for mid one. Keen Gaming get both of the big cores. And sure, old Levin goes down, but certainly a worthy fight for Keen. His old chicken really racks up the gold after that, and he, he's pushed very close to having the Dessa. Wow. Yeah, that is scary. That is a very scary timing when he gets it. They're going to have to have items to buff up their Alchemist with armor, because he's only got 11 with those phase boots, so... Okay, they've got a medallion queued up on Yapsor, and he's going to buy it. Okay, yeah, they need to get some armor items to solve how, how hard the Lifesteer is going to start hitting versus that alchemist soon so they are already addressing that but yeah very nice fight for keen nisha space in mid he's about to have bkb too so he's also making sure he can protect himself versus that high damage that comes down from it so they find another grab yeah so stanky yes they've got the rage they can finally finish him off. Shakram's out. Won't be enough to kill him. Back up there from Puppy. Now they turn with the toss on to Yi. He gets the boat out, covering themselves in the run, keeping themselves safe. And in fact, gets the connection onto Zai as well with the X mark. Drag bag. Zai's dead. 11 now with a completed pipe. It's Keen Gaming. They'll take the tier 2 in the mid lane. The push continues. 11. Playing really aggressive, just heading up to the high ground. He's actually just absorbing everything now with this pipe, too. They're certainly tapping up the speed, Keen, and they have the gold advantage against the outline up. If they can keep this up, they'll be at a good pace to challenge the high ground. Desolator done in just under, under 100 gold for Old Chicken. Very scary. Big timing's coming out for Keen when they keep this aggression up. Mid one shows his face in mid. Immediately they're gonna go on him. They've got the hex, they've there's, got the grab. There's no backup anywhere near him. Oh, he's gonna. Is he gonna tick out? Tick. Dyer's Where's the Oracle? Anyone? They the Oracle got him. Uh, that will block some of the magical oh. damage instances. He was about to. He, he was about to pop. I, he think was, the next I, I think he was one tick away. I think he was one tick away. He, he, he was. I did the numbers. <laughs> Very, very close to, to finding a, a huge kill. Not quite having enough chain disabled. Illusion. Surprisingly. Yeah. Between the, the Shaman and the Kunker, it wasn't there. They used everything, right? And that's with the level three of the Hex. It's only level one Shackles, though. Yeah, they threw everything on him. Time for Seeker. Keen's been playing super aggressive here in this game. And that that's all, like you said, it's done. Level 15 as well. The Life Stealer, some more extra damage on top. I was looking at uh, so Yi's build this game, the BKB, and then queuing up the Halberd. Is, mm. well, why, do you, why do you think it feels the Halberd is necessary this game? I mean, Halberd just is super good on Kunkka. It's so much Sure. It's strength, it's evasion. Yeah. Are uh, you thinking it's more for that yeah. rather than necessarily disarming a certain one of these heroes? I'd imagine so. Like, there's no, there's not, it's like uh. there's amazing targets to disarm. They're okay, but they're not like. gaming they are smoked up old chicken does have his midas up again during the smoke dyer's courier has been killed a dire courier what wait the dire courier was okay it was going to old 11 i was like it was just flying to nobody but it was actually just going for solid the wraparound is coming the bounty rooms they're able to make sure the secret don't get a hold on these position for the top two bottom two are left undefended at the moment now the tp's come out king will try and challenge for all four runes by the looks of it this time round. Zai is set up for the top ones though, and he's got wards too. He might actually just look to kill Dark. But now TPs are coming in. Yi. To down bottom. Expecting something. The fight's already started. With a hex, the shackles on to Nisha. Rage out as well. Can they kill off Nisha? They're trying, but they won't quite get him. Nisha will live. They'll lose Kaka. Mid one's able to walk past, take the bounty runes. Old Chicken's trying to chase him. Up top, they did kill off Zai. 
he was able to actually find him there with the boat combo. And that was what, two for two, right? Uh, mid bong, mid bong. Yeah. Old 11, old 11. Two for two on the runes. So, pretty happy with that. As Nisha is getting close to an AC, that's also another very big item. As you mentioned, he needs to have yeah. some type of way to protect stuff. Also taking the damage. Yeah, just so we've seen that now multiple yeah, times. Yeah, we saw what okay. Ace did earlier. Yeah. And yeah, focusing on the punching, the right clicking. Yeah. So that's where the Halberd is actually going to play really nicely into. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So if, if Nisha's going this sort of a build, yeah, yeah. the Halberd definitely is, is, is going to be a very nice pickup for, for Yeet. Yeah, he's the tower hitter uh, as Nisha. He's going to be the one just like taking objectives and killing. So since mid one went for this like full magic build, Veil, I mean Veil as well as the Maelstrom. Keep it up very it, it, close. And it's another one of those out situations where Dyer a lot of it's all on the out because there's three cores on Keen that the net worth is much more evenly split between. Dyer's yep. Zai's so falling heavily behind this game. Mid one still, he's still pretty much keeping up with the other three cores, but it's nothing to write home about. The it's timing. mainly the Alk that's the big fighting force, which, which uh, of course, it doesn't really matter too much. We've seen this happen Dyer's in a lot of out games, top and top the Alk, of course, has been victorious. They've got a timing here for a secret, since that AC was just picked up for Nisha. They're looking to try to take a fight around. He's very strong now. Look at his damage. 250 per hit, and they get the lasso. They get a big, big, big grab as well. Oh, Old no. chicken on the front lines. They have to full retreat. They can't lose too many more casualties here. They're probably going to lose at least one, but nice timber chain play. Do they get the catch? They did not have a fortune's end available. They only lose the life steal at least, but it is a painful loss yeah. there. It's, 50 seconds. It puts a stop to any sort of play that Keen were looking for. Yeah, and look at this. Mid one's already set up for top. Expecting someone to look to push out this lane, Kaka. Will be the target. Will be the culprit. Drops the server warrants, but Gapser is here. Time to cancel it. They do have the X. Won't quite be able to drag him back into the Ice Blast. We'll get him into the boat. Mid one's got Puppy by his side. <laughs> They even just buff him up, throw a little casual slight chains. <laughs> As Nisha finds an arcane rune. He can look to beat on this mid tower, his chemical rage in one second. Be a little careful. Stat reduction. Back to secret having the gold lead now. Yep. Mid one, BKB next up. Against all these disables, certainly warranted. At the end of the day, Puppy can only save so much. Yeah, and it's, just, it's always going to be a good item when you're playing versus like Timbersaw AA. Even versus Shaman, it's, it's a great item here on the Alchemist this game. Stat reduced. Put Puppy in like the super hard game where he always has to be in a perfect. Puppy though, level 12, so he at least has that extra cast range as well. Pro for the false promise. Always carrying around a salve, Dyer, plus his urn. Scanning. For that extra heal play. Maxed out Fate's Edict, so very important when you to AA. Is that little bit of extra timing Radiant for you to kick the heal in after the Ice Blast goes off and the extra cast range is low. Smoke Another time. Smoke. They've got what, the Blink Dagger, I believe, for Anisha? Oh, he actually buys the Bastion instead, okay. It's all out about that right click. That's all 11. That's far up. The Lotus Orb, right before the jump. He did get it off. Concoction, also getting reflected. As now time's been bought for Yi to come in, get the X-Mark combo down onto Zai. They'll cut across as well, looking for more behind him. As Zai will get frozen up by the Kofi. That's one down on Secret. Keen Gaming ready to try and chase for more. They'll look towards mid one, chase her out, but there's the Hex. From Kaka, they have to disable. Oh, Jackal's out as well, two down. What a boss. Very quick there. We had it pretty much the same time go off. He getting, getting that Lotus Orb onto himself as the lasso was dropped down. I was going to say, he's in a really dangerous position, too. He, he was stepping he, there. He, he didn't have vision, it. right? Nope, This was a no blind vision. jump. And he was ready. Yeah, because they placed this one afterwards now. The one that they just cut the tree over here and put this deep ward down right below where you're... Yeah, right there. They put down afterwards. So, yep, that was just sick by old 11. And he just pretty much... I mean, that was him dying, it really made for sure. And now it made they get the a rush because of it. That's massive. Massive place with this rush. Aegis and pretty much the money for Old Chicken. To feel very close to having the AC complete. Yeah. And they're able to get themselves three bounties by the looks of it, too. Go for my master. He plays here from Keen. 
They're looking to try to hunt here on secret. Checking to see if those runes were taken as well. That was, that was so sick. <laughs> Fully defensive old 11 BKB next as well for him. Cover all his bases, right? He's already got the protection against the majority of the spells. Now this is going to be the full protection to make sure he didn't get even get locked down at all. Stick on targets much easier. See so yeah, how that AC just around the corner. They're even giving him. Looks like did he think they did he buy the tome or did he, he bought the tome? He bought the tome. He bought the tome. Right? I guess yeah. what, the race to the level 20 evasion. Try to get that level, try to peak fast, in comparison to the Alchemist, peak fast, faster and faster in any possible way. It's bottom. You Pressured here, a little bit by old 11. He wants to keep pushing forward, he wants to go for like the next wave and stuff. Try to get any, maybe even the rune. Getting himself a defensive remnant down, just pushing himself far forward from the base. The rest of them are stepping over in this direction. Dyer's one has to be a little careful how he top. shows his face. Kaka just waiting to see something here. Glimmer with the Aether Lens. He waits just to catch in there, made one in. Now we have it. And he has the AC finished already on Life Sealer. Okay, they've got Aegis, they've got this, they've got Serpent Wards ready. They're looking to push bottom. This is a timing. Yeah, this is the time Dyer's to go. Dyer's top tower is under attack. We'll see what sort of a defense secret can put together. Keen. The rune of haste. But all the means to successfully and safely get in there. They can play with the X mark. Going for the free hits. Full abyssal blade on Nisha. He's committed. He has no buyback on the alchemist. That's a, that's a risk. Split down onto the old chicken, but again, this, this constant X mark usage allowing for damage to get laid down. And now drop the serpent boards. He's just after the go. chemical rage, he'll start to clean them up pretty quickly. A hex is upon him. Old chicken again steps forward, pops the rage, tries to go for Nisha, but the bash is disabling the life stealer. And old chicken is getting rather low still. How's that Aegis? Sai. Looking to try to catch him. He's X'd up though. So he can get him back to the combo. Boat, Tarns down, Zai gets dragged back. The Hex is there. He is able to force himself out of the initial jump. And they get the Avalanche as well too, but another X. Dragging him in. Again, face eating, taking some of the magical off. Shackles it down, and Old Chicken has the physical to rip Zai apart. Ice Blast will come out on Zanisha, but Nisha pops the BKP. So he's fine, able to walk out back to safety. They did manage to get the Shaman, there's the toss back. They've called themselves a second secret as Old Eleven will get caught back in the base. That was scary there. I was wondering where Old Chicken went, and I was like, oh yeah, he had to actually infest. It was looking pretty terrifying for him there. They were able to get the disengage pretty nice. Sai was looking in a lot of trouble there. He actually gets the four staff off somehow yeah. before the shot. Well, the house was out. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Pretty good hold there by Secret. They lose 1400 HP on their tower. They actually didn't find the ward that's been placed inside of their base either. So Gaps are also now is going to have a full Solar Crest finished up. So that's these items really start to add up. Throw them on top of this very strong Alchemist. In that fight too, the Kaka, Kaka got instantly gone on, right? Mid one just pierced to the back lines. That's always one thing he has to watch out for as the Shadow Shaman. December Spirit can always just get right on top of you. With the BKB now finished for mid one, he's got a lot more liberty to play with inside the fights. A double Glimmer Capes though on Keen, so it does have to be carrying a decent amount of reveal on themselves. So yeah, Yapsor also had. It's not just Puppy who has to watch out for that. I think Zai maybe, maybe they should give one of them to Zai too. Yeah, because he's normally the one jumping yeah. in looking for the, the last oh, season. Yeah, can be a bit awkward if he jumps in and but Glimmer's already off. And there's yeah. nothing for him to grab. Yeah. Age is being reaped in about five seconds. So they got a decent amount done with that. They got to do a good chunk of damage on down the bottom. Go! And it will be that clean talent. Oh, it's oh. grab more and more. Wants to fight, wants to punch Nisha. The blink. Agonim's ready to start Dyer's being built out. Tower is under attack. 
for the team and first and foremost probably Amber. it's got to be right you yeah. got to give it to the amber oh yes game some nice ones on the tiny in the back, but yeah, for sure. For mid one, it's gonna make his game very nice to play. I actually think I like the tiny's the least in this game because Oracle. Least in the Oracles? Oracle can heal so much during one fate's edict on an alchemist. True, but is it not sort of overkill? Like, can you not just heal the alk enough anyways? You really need the. Probably, yeah, I mean. Fine. You know what, you gotta give him. I mean, he's, he's obviously not got any items that... He doesn't have the items that work with it. Yeah, that's exactly. Why. Nothing really... Yeah, yeah I guess you, you're probably true. You're I mean, that's true. way later yeah. down the line. So that's, yeah. True. Ember Spirits, I'd imagine. Ember Spirits, it's gotta, be, yeah. it's gotta be first in line. Yeah, 100%. And then Zai's, and, and then, yeah. All sticking together. This smoke. He also building his own uh, right click as well. The Aedilus. And then well, queuing up an AC, which I imagine that he won't get. His old chicken's got one, right? Yeah, I'd imagine. That. Like, he's. It would be a little strange if, uh, if they do double up the ACs. Yeah. Okay, great. There's smoke. Gonna jump. Catch. They're gonna try and jump in straight away on to attack you. One niche is in as well. Looking for the back lines. He'll go for Kaka. With a low assault. Who's placed on Kaka. So the stuff gets reflected on his niche. Not that it matters. Because niche still gets the chance to put the BKB. Old Chicken. He's trying to right click down niche. They're surrounding him and chasing him out. Niche's BKB is about to wear off. Open wounds are there from Old Chicken. They're on top of them. Drag back with the X mark. Finally, the false promise is there from Puppy. Keeping niche fine. Allows him to blink out the side. Throws out the Kagosh for the Lotus assault. Again, Old Eleven. Reflected the stun, they're in onto Nisha. Nisha full and fully healed though. After the false promise ends, Old Chicken's still trying to tackle him. They drag him back with the X-Pop, but he Mid still can't doing, quite kill him. Cleaning up. As they hold back, Old Chicken, Nisha jumps back with the concoction. Secret will come out on top. As try as they might, Keen, they could not kill Nisha. Fighting around that shrine there, that extra heals coming out. Sai and Mid One just did so much work in the back lines. Nisha tanking everything, and that just allowed Mid One to do, let's see, 5,000 damage. Or 4,200, whatever. I think he did a little bit more before the fight actually started on with one of the first slices, didn't get counted, but. Yeah, the Alchemist just tanked so much. A disastrous fight for Keen. They really did put everything into trying to kill that out. They weren't able to do so. And it's every little thing too, right? Like I saw Yapsor even solo cresting him every single time when he's yeah. getting focused. He got Fate Seeded multiple times to absorb those magics. Magic damage. And now they move up on and they can easily get this Rax and that's a huge swing. It was like zero, right? Pretty much flatlined and now it's a 12k advantage for Secret after that. And a set of Rax as well in the middle lane. A secret. And that was also before he gave the Aghanims to mid one. I don't I believe he had the three pieces before the fight started, but he wasn't able to actually give nah, the Aghanims yeah, during the fight. Yeah. Yeah. So now even stronger here for secret. And it puts puts Dyer's mid one healthily ahead in the net worth, thanks to that axe. Yep. He's up there twenty one K. Nisha still leading the way, of course, as this alchemist twenty seven thousand net worth. And this is the problem when you play against an out lineup. Doesn't really matter how well you hold in the early game. One bad fight, and suddenly you're pushed far, far behind. Yeah, pushed super far behind. You lose all your map control as well, and he starts giving out those eggs. It just makes all of his teammates that much stronger. As Yapsor is starting to queue up for the Echo Saber. So he's preparing for it. He's, he's saying, look at me. I'm ready for an axe. Yeah. I'm ready for an axe. Rush, they're not able to make it in time. The Aegis and the Cheese. They've got the axe on the Timber Sauce. They have to go for the axe over the BKB. Yeah, more damage coming into play. Probably feeling like they just don't have the damage to kill people now. As yeah. Secret, they want to fight. They are. They're going in on Yapsor. Axe is out. Ward drops as well. Yapsor's able to force himself out of the whole entire combo. They'll go back into the river. Look for Puppy and Midwall. But Midwall pops the BKB. He's ready to chase down the Squishy. Stones around. Is jumping out onto Kaka Kaka's dead. Drag back over there, but it looks both the support puppy still alive as he's just taken away the whole attention of Keen's cause. He'll false promise himself. But buybacks have come out from both supports. They jump in on the back lines. They've got old chicken. Puppy, he will die, but he's made so much space and created all the distraction that the rest of Secret can come in, clean up ye. And old 11 is also not getting out of this one as Secret take another convincing team wipe doubling their lead now 20k gold advantage as keen gaming they are heavily paying the price for that bad fight they took around secret shrine and puppy just buys back saying hey guys let's let's get another rax we're feeling very confident after these last few fights there's no way that keen can even bring down nisha 
They're just too strong. Mid one initially just causing way too many problems. You saw you were even saying, right? Puppy took forever. He to took die. forever to die. And that was the three cores being down on him. Yeah. Bottom, Bottom side. If even get the solo kill, pick off there. On to Kaka. No buyback on the shaman. Oh, he gave you absolute the second eggs. <laughs> And they're just gonna look to push it. I mean, he here. knows this one is. Yeah. This one's in the bag for Secret. And as we sort of said in the draft, probably a reason why we would expect to see a first phase ban on the out next game. Yep. It, it really is that hero that it doesn't matter how well you play at the start because Keen, they did play very well with their lineup. But one mistake, one bad fight against an alchemist, and the game very quickly can come to a full stop. As they'll try their best to defend, size in, grabs old chicken, old chicken's dead without buyback. Nisha pops the BKP. They'll try and push them off the ancient. They will momentarily. Reflection of the concoction back over to Nisha, but Nisha focuses towards the objective as he's ready to seal this one up. Now move on to the second game here for Secret. As yep. there's nothing that Keen Gaming can really do to, to stop him right now. Chemical Rage is out. The ancient war fall. Slowly, slowly, but very surely, GG is cool. Secret will take game one. It's another win for Alchemist. And another win. scary to see as well. This is how strong the hero is. You can just pick it first.